One flower that fills any space with a hypnotic smell is the lily. Specialist local nursery hearts are exhibiting them at Tatton this year, so we went along to visit and find out why they've just picked up the President's Award at Chelsea. Lilies are spectacular. There's nothing I like more than to walk into the greenhouse and the smell of the lilies. I think uh, we've got one of the nicest jobs that are going. We've been growing lilies for about 25 years now. We've been in this nursery for three years. It's a quarter of an acre. We grow approximately 10 to 15,000 lilies in here every year. We're planting sort of every three or four weeks so that we've got them all the way through the year for the different shows that we attend. I'm probably into the design more of doing the displays and uh, choosing which varieties I like to put up. Scooby-Doo. Cheers, thank you. Patrick, my husband, he's uh, more into the growing side. He does all the planting and the lifting and the carrying because I can't do that. As does my son, Jonathan, who's um, a lot younger and, and fitter. So it's a real family business. I love lilies because they're so diverse. There's something for everybody. This is an absolutely fabulous Villa Blanca. Everybody knows Casablanca. Casablanca was very heavy on the pollen. and It was hard for us to work with because it used to bend over. This is a much improved version. It still has the, the curved back petals. Fabulous for bridal work, this one. Although you won't want the pollen in, you can take the pollen out, put little pearls in. Anywhere in the garden, it's really lovely, this one. This is Snowboard. This is a double oriental variety with no pollen to stain your clothes. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the size of the heads on that. Very, very fragrant. It's very easy to grow. It's a bit of a late flower, so it will be in flower at sort of round about the beginning of August. It needs an ericaceous compost, so I would put this one in a nice pot and have it on the patio next to your table where you're going to have a nice drink in the summer. There's lots of different varieties of these. There's from deep pink to pale pink. I love the beautiful colour of this one. It's so brilliant white with a little bit of pink tinge on the top. It's a really gorgeous one. Exquisite. This is Nymph. This is my absolute favourite. It's an oriental trumpet. The perfume on it is absolutely gorgeous. It sort of smells like cinnamon and vanilla. The perfume is a very subtle fragrance. The oriental um, perfume is one that everybody associates with lilies. This, for me, is completely different. That's why I love it so much. This is my top one to have indoors. This one's called Sweet Zanica. It's a really pretty one. It's of the LA group that um, is a Longiflorum asiatic. This is an unscented variety, as are all the um, Longiflorum asiatics. There's so many colours, but the reason I really like this one is that it looks as though somebody's taken a paintbrush and dipped it in purple paint and then flicked it over the top of a really white lily, so it's spectacular. This year at Chelsea, we had the ultimate award for us. We had the President's Award. It means that he has gone round the whole of the, the show and he's chosen our exhibit as the, as the best. So that's really prestigious for us. It's quite a feat to get them ready for the judging. Tatton is my favorite show. It's only 15, 20 minutes up the road, so we've got to just keep checking on the flowers. We're hoping that some of the varieties are going to just do it. We've got 
a warm weekend, so hopefully they're going to be ready. We'll obviously have to nip back um, every day to, to get new lilies, so this is the good thing about Tatton. We can pick any of our best, our most impressive lilies to show at this show. Congratulations, Lorraine, on another gold. Thank you, Arit. Yes, we're really pleased. It's our 16th gold medal here. Wow. Well, I can see that the stand looks absolutely amazing. Have you got any other new varieties that you've brought this time? We did, yes. We The Roberta, the one on the top, the double one, yeah. that's new. We didn't think it was going to be ready. And when we went back to the nursery, it just popped open. So we can leave it till the last minute before bringing here because we're only down the road. Tatton's really good for us to be able to do a really special display. I don't actually grow lilies in the border, so what advice would you give me if I was starting from scratch? Well, I'd, I'd see what your soil is, as long as it's well drained. Mm -hmm. Oriental is like an acid soil mm -hmm. and alkaline for Asiatics. Right. Although there's so many hybrids now that you can buy that will be fine in any soil. What's the right way to, to care for the bulbs once the um, plants are all spent, really? Well, first of all, you must make sure you get really good bulbs. Always get bulbs of a good supplier. They're nice and moist and big bulbs. Yes. And then when they've finished flowering, this is important, you must cut the heads off and leave the stem to die back. Makes the bulbs twice the size, right. so you're going to get a lot more flowers. What do you like to grow with the lilies? Well, I think in borders, I think they're lovely in herbaceous borders with delphiniums. Oh, yeah. You know, blues look lovely with all lemons, pinks, whites of lilies. I yeah. think I think I'd choose those really. Perfect time of year as well, July is when they're all up. Lovely. Oh well it was lovely to come and meet you. Lovely you to kept me these wonderful wafts of scent. Thank so, you. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> Thanks very Thank much.